Um, it's been a it's it's been a long time. I shouldn't have left you without some new Dayton to step to step to step to. Remember Dayton's dad's <sighs> dying. Dayton Hypernova's uh. dad's dying. Um, so my dad asked me to get him a blank. This is from his Facebook, and then I'm gonna play his video just so we get a little update. A uh, little background here. My dad asked me to get him a blanket from his recliner chair downstairs. The only time he's spoken to me this week since being home. I finally found one and took it to him. And the moment I entered the room, the stench was beyond anything. I have a fairly strong stomach at the bad stenches, but it was definitely an instagag reflex. All my bigot skinhead enabler relatives, when they're not around him, have to endure that. It's not an ordinary old person smell. It's weeks in the hospital cancer patient type smell. Karma. I'm, I'm, I'll show it to you. Or karmic. You know, same thing. Oh. Your dad's dying of cancer. I'm not gonna put, I can't put the screenshot up because there's other people that are innocent in it. But What a piece of shit, man. This God, I fucking hate this guy. Then he said, the last time I was paid was four weeks ago. Uh, before Halloween. Remember, maybe his parents are not giving him his allowance because his dad is... Dying of cancer. Um, my mom owes me four weeks of pay, and there's no way she's going to pay a queer trans person that close to $500 when my existence is against her pro-Trump views. These are shitty, uh, shitty bigots, and my dad is listening to Trump's new campaign for presidency downstairs loudly. His dad, who has cancer. Uh, in between listening to Bob Dylan, CCR, Rolling Stone. I mean, it's pretty cool. What's the problem? Yeah. So dad likes old rock. Who cares? Oh, but it's all the liberal music Nixon hated when he was doing shit. Tr okay, that's right. Shut up. And you know, I'm sure you know about Nixon. So, you see this note that you see there? He left this note on his parents' refrigerator. He didn't say it to them. But what he did was grab his fucking phone and do this. I'm keeping this on record right now. How much my mom is my employer record for who who's the record for you basically almost got your parents in trouble because they've been they were they were kind of working the system which by the way a lot of people do this to try to help you out and you call them out for being tax frauds because they were yeah, trying they to were help trying to get you them, out you're trying to get them in fucking federal prison over this because they're basically trying to make it so you could still get government insurance actually paid me for the month of uh november between well between the last week of October that you didn't pay me and the following three weeks this is the end of the third week oh, uh, um, <coughs> this is the end of the third week of you ever wish cancer was contagious <laughs> uh, <November laughs> or whatever anyway it's been four weeks in total that she did not pay me so she owes me four hundred dollars and I'm counting it right now how much she actually did. and I knew she wasn't gonna pay me exactly right because she never does she's selfish with her money and she She's selfish. He's living her in her money. house for free. He's living in her house for free. And she's giving him a, a, a fucking allowance, basically. He's 36 years chores. old. 36, and he's living with them. He does not actually honor the system that she herself guarantees me. Hey, Dayton, I know, but, you know, I ask you to have a little bit of patience because, you know, your dad's dying of cancer. No, that's karma. He's oh, dying, he's dying of, of karma. karma. Okay. <laughs> Well, Dayton, I hope you get karma. I hope you get all the karma. Mm -hmm. I hope you get a, a, a terminal case of karma. Yeah, I hope you get brain karma. <laughs> and it spreads to the, and it spreads and it becomes lung and lymph node karma. Yeah, it'll be the best kind of karma for you. <laughs> so I'm keeping this on record. This is 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. That's for the first, or the, that's, this is for the last week of October. Keep in mind for new listeners that don't know who he is, I always have to give the run because there's new people to listen. He's we started watching him when he was 33. He says he's trans, but he's never done any like surgeries or anything. The reason we're calling him he is he refers to himself as he a lot. He goes back and forth, so yeah, he he's all over the he's place. Doing. He's this is just a dude, honestly, just a guy in a dress. The entire LGBTQ community of Dayton, Ohio, fucking hates him. We've covered that before. They want nothing to do with him. Um, he lives with his parents. He doesn't pay any rent, and his parents to shut him up, give him a hundred dollars a week to do laundry, and he doesn't do laundry, by the way. He won't. Eat, some weeks he doesn't do it. Uh, his brother died, and he still calls his brother a skinhead because his brother would pick on him because he would be a piece of shit to his parents. One time, his dad bought him pizza that he didn't like, and he was mad that it wasn't from the place that he likes. So he threw a little hissy fit on YouTube. That's a good QRD. Mm -hmm. 
20, 40, 60, 80, 100. That's for the first week of November. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. That's only $300. This is the end of the fourth week. Imagine being somebody whose father is dying of cancer and doing this. Like, he's got to be a sociopath. I mean, at, le at, the, at the very least. Yeah, and horrendous narcissist and sociopath. Yeah. Well, look how he writes. Oh, my. Look at this font. He writes like it's a hostage it's negotiation. Not paid me. She handed me this. Or she, she told me the money was on the kitchen table. And when I picked it up, and it was all stacked together, I picked it up and went up, came upstairs to... And he posted the picture uh, here, so because uh, I know it's hard to read. Um, this is what he posted on the fridge. You owe me two weeks pay today that I worked eating very little this week. You owe me two weeks pay today that I worked eating very little this week. What does that have to do with your work? You have money, go get food. There's health burritos. I didn't bother you because last weekend was Halloween and I was busy on my costume several days. Please pay thank you. The front door is kept open during the day with the screen door open as well. And that can nearly the cat nearly got out yet again. The poor can't be open. The door can't be open. Even slightly, she pushes it. Okay, so now this is all about the cat. I, I get it. Um <laughs> So, so honestly, this, this became way more about the cat at one point, I guess. Uh, count it. Now that's coming upstairs, she said. Your mom's probably, and this is just what I'm saying. Your, your mom is probably absent-minded on account of her husband having cancer. You know, I, I do believe it probably has a it lot to be. do probably with the cancer. This guy's such a scumbag. The thing she said to me was, did you get your money? And that's it. That's all that she said. She doesn't say, oh... You only, I only but see, here's the thing with him. He's such a pussy. Did you get your money? But he he won't tell her. Yeah, but you gave me the wrong amount. No. Instead, he passive aggressively he goes leaves to the room. a ransom letter on the fucking refrigerator, written in the font that I think Bray Wyatt used yeah. when he was the fiend. Yes. Fucking scary writing on the goddamn. Just, just fucking ask. Just, just go. Hey. Hey, uh, like, like Royce, let's pretend, let's pretend you owe me 400 bucks. Okay. Hey, you got that money you owe me? Now you hand me 300 bucks. Go. Real quick, just, hey, what, pretty sure, wasn't it 400? Um, you spent 100 on health burritos, so I deducted it on my card. You also didn't work for two And also you didn't work, you haven't been working. <laughs> you haven't done laundry in You've never years. had a real job. <laughs> You've never had a real job. <laughs> she skipped the you know, we're a little short on money on the count of your dad dying of cancer. Mm -hmm. $3,000. Whoa, 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 what was that? So, from the memory of him beating me on a regular basis, and now the stress of not getting paid what I work for. In 2020, she skipped, uh, let's see, she skipped $3,000. She did not pay three. Who is she, YouTube? Thirty-three hundred, give or take. And you know we're not getting the money we had at the bank for the clip channel now, right? You know we're not getting that either. Thousand dollars in twenty twenty, and it wasn't because she was lacking a job in the middle of pandemic. She took advantage of the fact that everyone was struggling. She pay got paid the exact same amount as she ever did, or whatever. She got paid plenty. She went on three vacations during that while the pandemic was raging. How dare she? And this, what he's doing is, is similar to like those people that were like shitting on Elon, the employees that were shitting on Elon Musk on Twitter and then being surprised they get fired. You no, know, it had while they were discount, you know, airfare, you know, all that di discount airfare that was spreading the virus around. She went on three vacations during that and spent the money that she owed me, even though she wasn't actually financially. You know what I was thinking? Because obviously we don't want to give the link out to the videos because the internet gets it and then we're going to lose the stuff. Yeah, it's, and then we lose our fun. But we could always grab them and maybe for the locals throw them. Put them up on locals? People, just, just locals. Like for the locals people, it wouldn't be a bad idea. The raw videos? Yeah, that would raw, be dope. That way you guys could just fucking have them. You know, she wasn't financially stricken through any of it. And she took advantage of it because she's a hypocrite and a liar and a scumbag. Well, Whoa. she has not paid me the $3,000 from that. And last year, she skipped another... 
$1,000 because she skipped about, uh, let's see, it was uh, about four months, I think, uh, if I remember right. Was, she skipped the entire summer last year. Didn't pay me a cent. You don't deserve any money. I can't tell you what you deserve because we're not on Rumble only. But, but I can't tell you what you deserve. I, he, he gets worse and worse. And I could only, like, watch so much of him because after a while, it's just... He's insufferable.